Hey YouTubers, it's me, Lauren Michelle. I'm back to make two new videos for you. The first video is a what's in my makeup bag video. So let's get started. The first bag is my face makeup bag. The bag itself is from L'Oreal. It says Je t'aime Paris. It has a girl and a dog on the front. The first product I'll show you out of the bag is my foundation, which is True Blend by CoverGirl. I don't remember what the one is for, but the shade is 415. And then I just I mix it with an off-brand moisturizer. I found that it blends better with my skin color. And um, this one is Equate Beauty Lotion. It's either from Walmart or Target. I don't really remember which one. And then I have my eyeshadow primer potion by Urban Decay, which I put on before my eyeshadow. And then under my eyes, I use the Studio Secrets Anti-Redness Primer. That's what it's called. And then I use over that the Fake Up Concealer by Benefit. And I use the shade 01 Light. I've tried a lot of different concealers over the years, but this one's by far my favorite because all the others, as the day went on, the makeup would settle in the creases and it looked really weird, especially with the powder over it. And this one lasts a really long time and it stays pretty smooth, so that's why I've stuck with it for so long. And then um, I just have some tools in here, my uh, pencil sharpener, Ulta, and then eyelash curler. I think this is, this is just a Sally Hansen eyelash curler. And then I have my mascaras. I've stuck with the same mascara since I started using makeup, which is the um, CoverGirl Lash Blast. And I use waterproof. I just love this mascara, and I've never wanted to change. And then I also use over it the CoverGirl Exact Eye Lights for green eyes, obviously, and also waterproof. So I use these two together, and they're my favorite. And I will probably never change unless they get discontinued. I also have a compact mirror in here. It's just an e.l.f. Just plain mirror, which I actually never use. And then I also have an eyebrow pencil, which is broken, but it still works, so I refuse to get rid of it. And then just plain old tweezers. And... Then I have my um, bronzer by Physicians Formula and also a blush by Physicians Formula. I really like products that use um, more than one shade. I don't know, it just works better for me than just like one shade. And then I also have a Physicians Formula um, bronzer and blush in one. I actually took this on vacation with me because instead of taking up room by packing two products, I was able to just take one and it saves a lot of time. And then I also, over all my makeup, I use Physicians, uh, Physicians Formula. Let's see if I can, uh, hope you can see that. Hmm. Kind of. It's the translucent powder and it has um, like the skin tone. I think that you can't see it. There you go. It has like green, pink, and yellow in it, and it um, has color correction in it. I really like it. I like it better than using uh, normal face powder. And I use the Physicians Formula brand because I have really sensitive skin, and it doesn't um, irritate my skin. I've just found that it's the best brand if you have sensitive skin. The last thing in here is just my big blush brush which I use for everything, which I know is not what you should do, but yeah. And by the way, all my brushes are um, by EcoTools from Ulta. That's it. Next bag. The second bag I'll show you is my eye makeup bag, which holds all my eyeshadows, eyeliners, and eye makeup brushes. The bag is from Forever 21, and it says Bonjour. Very French theme today. The first palette I'll show you is the one I'm wearing today. It's by CQ. This one is, this palette is the one I wear the most like during the week. 
I don't get too fancy there. Like. And then the next one I wear the most is its color. It's by CoverGirl. It's my favorite. It's from the Eye Lights collection, the same as the mascara I use. And this one's for green eyes, and I love it. I highly recommend these products together. They're amazing. Next palette I'll show you is this e.l.f. palette. I use, I love it. I don't think it has a name, but it has so many different colors, and I use this so much on its own as well as um, mixed and matched with other palettes that I own. I have two Cover Girl palettes here, both purple. This one's a little more neutral, like Cover Girl. Hopefully you can see the colors, they're not too washed out. This, these don't have names, sorry. I don't the names went. I think the sticker got ripped off, but this one's also by CoverGirl. It's a little darker than the other one, more purple. And then I also have this Rimmel palette, which I just use for setting my, um, my eyeshadow primer, especially this one on the right, and then this one, I use sometimes, like in my crease, um, to bring up my eyes. I also have these two baked eyeshadows from Ulta. This one is called Covet, and this one is Sweet Dreams. Sorry if I'm leaning. All my makeup's in front of me, so I'm having them lean. And then I have a L'Oreal palette. And this one, this one doesn't have a name either. This is a really nice palette, so very soft, but very pretty. And this one is by Milani. Some of these are pretty old, but I've kept them because I love the colors, and why should I throw them away when eyeshadow is not even halfway gone? I think, oh, two more palettes. This one is Too Faced Glamour To Go Dream Edition. It not only has eight eyeshadow shades, but also a sample of bronzer, lip gloss, and blush. Which I don't use as often as the eyeshadows, but it's there. Just in case I run out and need extra. This last palette's by Ulta. I don't use it as much as my other ones, but I have it because I hate to waste. I don't really experiment with like other colors. I don't know, I'm just scared that I'm going to look ridiculous, but I probably should try and branch out. Oh, these last two, they're just um, mini uh, single eyeshadows. And these are very like glittery and dark, and I save them for special occasions. This one I think I wore on Easter, and this one I wore for Christmas. So, yeah. Oh, the. Let's see, do they have. They don't have names, sorry, but they're by Sephora. Uh, the next thing I have my two Eco Tool brushes that I use, and the last thing is my eyeshadows. I've got like tons of like tiny eyeshadows that are like barely gone, as well as new eyeshadows. I'll just show you like the main ones I use. This one I just bought and I love. It's from Ulta and by Ulta, and it's gel eyeliner in the shade Halo. And I use it on my waterline to bring out my eyes, especially when I'm really tired. I actually found this tip online and decided to try it, and I love it. I'm actually wearing it right now. And then I also have a white eyeliner by Ulta. I haven't used this one yet. I'm still researching, trying to figure out how exactly to use it, but I bought it because I know that white eyeliner can really be used to bring out your eyes, so I have it there for when I want to use it. I use gray a lot. I love to use it above my upper lash line. Gray pairs really well with green eyes, and this shade is 07 Granite, and it's by Prestige, and it's a waterproof eyeliner. And then I also have Brown by Special Eyes Precision Eyeliner Pencil. Oh, it's by Rimmel London. Rimmel London. And it's 114 Rich Brown. 
And then I have my black eyeliner, which I use the most. This one's an Ulta brand. Just, it just says black. And, oh, it's one of those pop-up, but this one's almost gone. Oh, here's the one I've been using. Sorry, this one's by NYX, and it's SL07 Jet Black. And I need to sharpen it. And I think that is everything for my eye makeup. I hope you've enjoyed my What's in My Makeup Bag video. I enjoyed showing you all my makeup, and I hope you enjoyed looking at all my makeup. Stay tuned for my second video, which is a vacation haul that's coming up right after this. So stay on the lookout for that, as well as new videos to come. I will see you very soon. Well, that's all for now, folks.